I colour in, the magic will begin And together we'll make the picture come real Draw us a picture, Louis Take a look and see how easy it can be Come along and draw with me So draw us a picture, draw us a picture, Louis Louis, draw me a boat My castle tower is nearly finished <laughs> Legs. 
I don't think there's any more wind. Oh, no! I've got an idea! <laughs> oh, dear. Yippee! The wind's picking up, Yoko! Now I'm the captain! Up we go! <laughs> to draw a boat, first of all, you have to draw the hull. One line to make the bottom of the hull, a second line for the top, and two slanted lines to join them up. A mast and some sails. One line straight up and two big triangles. One at the front and one at the back. And now all that's left to do is to colour it in. And don't forget to put your boat on the water. Bon voyage! See you soon then, friends! See you soon, Louis! See you soon, Yoko! I draw a wider and longer circle there. Then I draw a wing on the side, like a circle, but a very flat one, like that. <laughs> like me! Now two little feet. So he can walk, like me. Then I draw two little eyes quite near the middle of his head. Like me! Then under his eyes I draw a squashed circle with a line down the middle. That's his beak. Because he talks a lot like... <sighs> like Yoko! <laughs> and now all we have to do is... Colour it in! Exactly! I colour the beak in yellow and the head in purple. But I leave a little white circle around his eyes 
so he looks like a real penguin. Can I keep colouring him in, huh? Please, Louis. Of course, Yoko. I colour the rest of his body in purple, leaving a white patch for his stomach. Then I finish by colouring his feet in orange. It's pretty, isn't it? That's fantastic. You are very, very good at colouring, Yoko. Thank you. We really need a good ice skating teacher. Would you like to help us? Of course. Yippee! Woo! Look what I can do. So then, who wants to start skating first? I see. Hold on tight, Louie. Very good. Bring your foot in front like that. I'm letting go. Go on. Oh, got it. Come on, Yoko. It's not so difficult. I'm coming. Try again. One leg after the other. I want to do it. But it isn't easy when you've got four legs. <laughs> That's true. And how's that? That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> to draw a penguin, you draw a circle for its head, like that. You add two little black lines for its eyes and a squashed circle with a line down the middle for its beak. Then you draw a bigger and longer circle for its body. There. Now you draw one wing on this side and another wing on the other side. And then you draw its feet. There. But don't forget to leave the middle of its tummy and the edge of its eyes white. Aha! A new friend! Did you know, friends, that as penguins, we love living in groups? We do! So remember to draw lots of penguins so our friend is happy. OK! <laughs> Oh, I'm so 
sorry, Yoko. Wait there. I've thought of a way to say that I'm sorry. He's very kind. Maybe I overreacted a little bit. A little? I'll draw it as fast as I can. With him, you won't have to be afraid. With who? You'll see. I start by drawing its tail in the shape of a heart. Then I draw its back with a fin. No, 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 no. I know an animal which has a fin and is very frightening and has lots of teeth. I definitely wouldn't swim with it. Do you know what animal I mean? Yes, a shark. I understand, but I'm not drawing a shark. The fin of a shark is pointed, but this one is more rounded. Look at this. There it's pointed. And there it's rounded. See the difference? Yes! Me too! Me too! I do! Perfect! I'll continue my drawing. There it's rounded, and there is the head of my dolphin! A dolphin? I love dolphins! Yes, I know. I continue the line and I draw a flipper. Then I draw the stomach right up to the tail. That is strange. It seems that it is missing something. Its nose. A little triangle with another line like that underneath. There we go. Oh, it's so sweet. Can I call it in, Louis? Of course, Yoko. I coloured it in well, didn't I? Oh, oh no, now I'm all wet. <laughs> Hello there, my friend. Hello, dolphin. Have you come to play with me? I love playing. You see, my friend Yoko is a bit scared of the water. Scared of water? How strange! Me? I live in the water! Would you like to help Yoko be less scared of water? Well, of course! As dolphins, we love helping others. Jump on my back. You'll be very safe. Are you sure? Well, OK, but I'll have to prepare. OK? Like this? You look divine! <laughs> <laughs> Joko, you're very safe. Trust me. Okay, I've got my sea legs now. Yeah. <laughs> Yippee! Well done, Yoko. Come with us, Louie. It's fantastic. Can I? But of course. Both of you can hang on to my fin. Let's go yeah. for a tour. <laughs> <laughs> Colour it in! Hello there, friends! <laughs> Hello! Who would like to play with me? Me! Bye-bye! See you soon! Bye-bye, Dolphin! And thank you! And now, it's your turn to play! See you soon, then, friends! See you soon, Louie! See you soon, Yoko!
show you how it's done. Draw us a picture, Louis. When I colour in, the magic will begin. And together we'll make the picture come real. Draw us a picture, Louis. Take a look and see how easy it can be. Come along and draw with me. So draw us a picture, draw us a picture, Louis. Louis, draw me a car. Finished after you? Well, I only have little legs, so I have to use my wings to help me. Yes, that's true. You're right. So shall we race again? Hmm, okay. But I need some help too. Wait for me. Louie can draw whatever he likes, but I know for sure that I'm gonna win. <laughs> <laughs> Watch carefully, Yoko. What are you drawing, Louie? A flying carpet. Hmm, a little patience and you'll see. I draw a rounded line which starts at the front and then away. Like that. You know, even though it's big, there's no way you're going to beat me using that shoe. <laughs> But it isn't a shoe, it's a car! But that's not what a car looks like! Yes, but with some wheels it'll be a racing car! Uh, front wheel... And I will draw a back wheel! Whee! Mm. There we go! A back wheel! <laughs> Thank you, Yoko! That's okay! Ready, the sooner we can have a race! Woo! Ready? Wait, Yoko! To drive it, it needs a steering wheel. Now that we've drawn the car, we have to... Colour it in! They are clever, old friends. Me? I'll colour the wheels really, really well.
No problem, Yoko. Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> to draw a car and win all the races, first draw a straight line, then a rounded line for the front of the car, then half a circle for... For the driver's seat. Yes. Then you draw the back of the car. And don't forget the steering wheel. Then you add the wheels, nice and round. Afterwards, you can colour it in however you like. So, Yoko, do you like the colour? Not bad, but not as pretty as my wings. <laughs> <laughs> hey, are you coming, Louie? Coming, Yoko! Once you have finished your car, you're ready to have a race. Give him two big teeth. Oh, wow! He looks very scary now. <laughs> <laughs> now I am drawing his round stomach and there's one of his feet. For the tail, I draw a line twisting like a snake. Say, Louie, isn't your dragon missing some feet? Yes, Yoko. I draw another foot there, like that. One here. And one more there. He's missing something that will make us very scared. Guess what it is? The scales! Yes, that's it! One, two, three, and four! And to make him even scarier, I'm going to give him some claws. Claws? Ooh, he's going to be a real baddie. I'll draw two little lines on each foot. Here, there, there, and there. And now all we have to do is... Colour it in! That's right! Yippee! There we are! I coloured him in well, didn't I? But no 
one's going to be scared of a dragon that's so small. Hello there, my friends. Hello, dragon. Would you like to play with us? Oh, yeah. Cool. What are we playing? Hopscotch? Marbles? Oh, no. Dragons. Dragons? But what do I have to do? You're the baddie. You hide behind the boulder. And then you come out growling when we call you. Oh, aye. If that's what you want. Oh, yes. Your turn, Yoko. Help me. Help me. I'm Louie, the knight without fear. Watch out, brave knight Louie. The dragon's coming. Here I am. Oh, hello there, friends. Oh, no, that's not right. We said that you have to be the baddie. I cannot do it. I'm far too kind, me. But I can breathe fire if you like. Oh, yes! Let's see! <laughs> so impressive, isn't it? I think we should find another game. To make a dragon, first of all, you draw the head with two bumps. Then you draw a big mouth and a line down the middle. Then you have two scary eyes and two big wrinkles on the forehead. Then you draw a curly line for his stomach and you draw one foot. For the tail, you draw a line like a snake. Then you come back up towards the head. Now you can draw the other feet. And his scales. Get his tea, and you can colour him in however you like. Isn't he sweet? Hello, dragon. Ah! Oh no, this dragon seems very scary. <laughs> but don't you worry a bit. I'm a very, very kind baddie, me. And a bit of a practical joker as well, really. So we can all play together then. Yippee! Watch out, dragon. <laughs> what do you think of that then? <laughs> See you soon, Give my shell a clean. Sorry. It seems every 
everyone is doing chores at the moment. <laughs> but I know who can help us. Don't move. I'm coming back. Oh, little ant. Would you like to help us gather up the leaves? I guess she has an ant nest to clean. <laughs> I'm going to draw a robot. A robot? What a good idea. He can do everything we ask him to, and we can play. Yippee! For his head, first of all, I draw a large square. I give him two little eyes, a big nose and a mouth. And some ears, otherwise he won't be able to hear what we ask him, will he, Louie? You're right about that. Voila! Oh, that really is a robot head. And now I draw his neck and a large rectangle for his body, like that. There. And arms and hands, otherwise he won't be able to gather up all the leaves. And then we won't be able to play. OK. There's the top of his arm, his elbow and his forearm. And for his hand, a square with three little spikes for the fingers. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. <laughs> Very good. And now, for his legs, I draw a rectangle and a little rectangle for his foot. And to finish it, I draw little square buttons on his body. Now all we have to do is colour it in. <laughs> Our friends are getting to know you well, Louie. <laughs> I'll colour him in yellow. And I'll do his little buttons in lots of different colours. Oh, hello, robot. We need your help to gather up the leaves. We're off to play. Hey, but I want to play as well. But you can't. You're a robot. A robot? That works. But robots like to play too, Yoko. Oh, my gosh. But that won't do at all. A robot who wants to play? That's unheard of. I've an idea. We'll play who can make the biggest pile of leaves. I am sure I can win. We'll soon find out. Ta-da! I'm done. I am as well. Huh? I think that I've won. Ha 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 First of all, you draw a large square for his head, two little round eyes, a large nose and a mouth. For his ears, you draw two small rectangles. And one for his neck and a big rectangle for his body. For the arms, draw a rectangle for the top, a circle for the elbow and a rectangle for the forearm. And you do the same thing on the other side. Don't forget to give him some hands. And legs. And feet. And to finish, you add some little square buttons onto his body. And afterwards, all you have to do is colour him in.
teach you how to make a picture now. Drawing can be fun, let me show you how it's done. Draw us a picture, Louis. When I colour in, the magic will begin. And together we'll make the picture come real. Draw us a picture, Louis. Take a look and see how easy it can be. Come along and draw with me. So draw us a picture. Rocket. Hello there, friends! Hello, Louie! Hello, Yoko! Watch carefully! Hey. Hey. Louie, did you see how light I am? I know how to jump with both feet too! <laughs> To jump over the puddles. <laughs> Too heavy? Oh, but wait, Yoko. I know a place where I'll be less heavy. A place where you'll be less heavy. Where's that? Up there. Now, friends, what do you see up there? The moon! <laughs> uh, Louis, you want to go to the moon? But why? You'll see. On the moon, you can do all sorts of extraordinary things. But it's too far. Yes, but I know how to get there. Wait for me. Back soon. Go to the moon? Come on. I sometimes wonder if Louie isn't just... Being silly. <laughs> Yoko? You're going to help me draw a rocket. A big one. A rocket? But I don't know how to draw a rocket, Louie. But it's very easy. You'll see. First you draw a line, like this. And two little lines, like this. Cool. It's missing something to fly with. Something that you have, Yoko? Uh, oh yeah, my antennas. No, some wings, see? We have to draw a crescent shape on each side to make a wing. <laughs> and a second wing. And now we'll climb on board. <laughs> Not yet, Yoko. We have to draw the cabin like an egg. And now all we have left to do is uh, climb on board. Colour in the rocket. Do you want to do that, Yoko? Yeah. I'm going to colour it in red.
did he see all the somersaults that I did? Yes, look at this one. Watch, a backwards flip. Whoa! I'm coming! My green marble, it's me who wins! Lost! My turn! Now watch this! Uh... <laughs> Your marble's mine! Well done, Yoko! Hello there, friends! Hello, Sorry, Yoko. We'll find them again. They're just under the sand, that's all. Oh, the one time I win, I lose all the marbles I had. Oh, it's not fair. I have an idea. I know a bird who can find them again. Don't move. I'll be right back. <laughs> My marbles? Well, what kind of bird could it be? A sparrow? A pigeon? Perhaps a cuckoo? No, no, no! I'm going to draw an ostrich. An ostrich? Is that a bird then? Oh, yes! The ostrich is the world's biggest bird. Watch! To draw an ostrich, First of all, I draw the head with a very long neck. Then I draw her beak. And two dots for her eyes. Then I give her a body. With feathers. Voila! And to finish, I give her long, 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 long ostrich legs, not forgetting her feet. Tut, tut! But she's missing something. I know! You've forgotten her toes. Look, now there's a pretty ostrich. And now we get to... Hello, Harry! OK! I'll colour in the legs and neck in pretty pink. And to finish, I colour the beak in yellow. Ta-da! So then, friends, I present the ostrich. Hello, ostrich. 
Ostrich. Hello there, friends. Oh, please, One second, you... please, darling. Right. What are you doing? Well, dear, I'm preparing for the race. One, two, one, two, one, two. When do we start? Mm. Oh, it's just there isn't a race. Oh, what a shame. I love racing, I do. Because you know us ostriches, we can't fly. So, Louie, what can I do for you? It's not for me. It's for Yoko. Uh, I've lost my marbles in the sand. I understand. You want me to find them? Is that it? Yeah! Frighten me then. Huh? Oh? We ostriches, we only put our head in the sand when we are scared. My little ladybird, you have to make me much more scared than that. Woohoo! <laughs> 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 Woo I think I found it. <laughs> My green marbles. And the red? <laughs> oh, but little ladybird, no, no, no. You can't make me scared the same way it was, you know. Oh, a lion! Lucky. I found it! We've managed to find both the marbles! Well, well done. done! Thank you, Ostrich. You're oh. welcome. To draw an ostrich, first of all, you draw her head with a long neck. So she can search deep in the sand. Then you draw her beak and her eyes. Then you draw the body a nice round circle with some feathers at the back, like that. And to finish, you draw the long ostrich legs, not forgetting the feet. And now you can colour her in any way you like. to a little rice. Hmm. Okay, let's go. Goodbye, little friends. See you soon. See you soon, Louie. See you soon, Yoko. Go. 
<laughs> it's not so easy to look after an egg. What do you think, friends? What kind of egg is it? A chicken egg! A Easter egg! <laughs> <laughs> there we are! Hurry up, Louie! He's building! Quickly! We have to draw his mummy! I start by drawing her back. But what are you doing? That doesn't look like a chicken. Well, no, Yoko. There are other animals that lay eggs, like crocodiles. You think that it's a crocodile egg? Oh, no! Don't be scared. I'll draw you a nice crocodile. A nice crocodile? Watch. I draw the start of a heart for the top of her head. Then I continue the line to draw her jaw. Don't draw too many teeth, please. OK, Yoko. She's just missing her tail, her stomach and her feet. Crocodiles have big tails. There. And now one foot, like a little boot. The stomach and another foot. Stop, Louie. It's making me too scared. Yoko, you know very well that we can't leave this egg without a mummy. Here, if you draw her, you won't be as afraid. Think so. Uh, what do I have to do? Her eyes and her mouth. Draw a small mouth, please. No, you may not. Crocodiles have big mouths. That's good. Wow! And then now, my friends, we should... Colour her in! my darlings, for everything you have done. It really was a pleasure, wasn't it, Yoko? Oh, yes. Mm. But I did find it a bit difficult sitting on the egg. <laughs> Didn't you know that us crocodiles, we never sit on our eggs. We put them in the shelter of our nests and the warmth of the sun does the rest. <laughs> really? That explains it all. You would like the nicest daddy. Oh, yes! To draw a crocodile, I start by drawing his back. Then you draw the start of a heart to draw the top of his head. You continue the line to draw the jaw, like a large rectangle. Then you draw the tail, then two feet. The stomach and two other feet. And you draw two big eyes and a large mouth. Then all you have to do is colour him in. Thank you very, very much, my friends. Now it's your turn to draw a crocodile. It's great fun. And remember, don't be scared. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye! See you soon, Louis. See you soon, Yoko.
show you how it's done. Draw us a picture, Louis. When I colour in, the magic will begin. And together we'll make the picture come real. Draw us a picture, Louis. Take a look and see how easy it can be. Come along and draw with me. So draw us a picture, draw us a picture, Louis. Louis, draw me a sheep. Yoko! Yoko! Hello, Louis! Hello, friends. Have you seen Yoko? No. Hello there, friends. <laughs> Yoko! Yoko, where are you? I'm here. <laughs> Cooey! <laughs> I was in the clouds. You're so lucky to be able to play in the clouds. Oh, yes. They really are very soft. With clouds, you can't catch them, you know. That's just not fair. Don't worry, Yoko. I've got an idea. Yippee! Wait here. I'll be back. Something that resembles a cloud. I know. Some delicious whipped cream. Yum! Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that, Yoko. It's an animal. Something beginning with shh. A shark. <laughs> a Shetland pony. A shrimp. No, a sheep. Well done, friends. To draw a sheep, I start with the body like a big cloud. Then I draw its head. First, I draw a semicircle, and then I draw a little cloud on top. Then the little ears. One, two, and two eyes as well. For the nose, two little dots. And next, the mouth. Yippee! We can play! But Yoko, we haven't finished. We need to give our little sheep some legs. Let me do it, Louie. I know. The legs are like that. And to finish, we have to... Colour her in! Wait, wait, I'll do it! Voila! Our sheep is ready! Good day, day to you, you, Mr Sheep! Wow! You really do look like a cloud, you know that! Of course! <laughs> Except that my curls are 100% pure wool. <laughs> the wool is very soft, very smooth, for making comfortable jumpers that keep you nice and warm during the winter. <laughs> mm, it's true that you look very, very soft. Ah, ah, ah. You can look, but you can't touch. The wool is very delicate. You understand? Oh, yes, of course. But would you like to play leap sheep with us? Oh, yes, I do. No, we can't do that. <laughs> I would risk damaging my wool. <laughs> Speaking of that, I have a very important meeting. <laughs> See you. Bye. See you. Bye. <laughs> uh, Louie, why don't we draw another fluffy sheep that won't mind being stroked? To draw a sheep, it's very simple. You start with a big cloud for the body. Then you draw a semicircle with a little cloud on top for the head. You draw one ear on each side. Then the eyes. The nose and the mouth. Finish four straight legs. A 
and you can colour it however you like. Hello, my friends. <laughs> Isn't he sweet? Yippee! I've just had myself sheared. It's just like going to the hairdressers. It looks great. Well, don't you think so? <laughs> oh, it's wonderful. Yes. When one has wool as fabulous as mine, it's only fair to let others profit from it. <laughs> Hello, dear friends. I'm so delighted to meet you. Me too. The more of us, the merrier. <laughs> Gosh, you must be cold without your wool. A little, but it will soon grow back. And while I'm waiting, I know a way to warm myself up. Playing with you at Leap Sheep. And oh! <laughs> well, well done. done! Now perhaps you'd like to draw a sheep. It's your turn to play. See you soon, friends! See you soon, Louie! this way just a little while ago. Oh, yes. Who was it? Mm, a ladybird. <laughs> Can you beat that? Yes. Me, big Indian chief Yoko. I know how to do a rain dance. Hiya, ni ha no ha no Hiya, ni ha no ha no So, not bad then, hey? <laughs> I've an idea. To be like real Indians, we need a horse. Wait there, I'm coming back. A horse, of course. Now, friends, would you like to draw a horse with us? Yes. <laughs> Yippee! <laughs> Watch carefully, Yoko. To draw the horse's head, I draw a slightly wavy line like that, which goes down and then comes back up. Louie, where's his nose? Horses don't have noses, they have a muzzle. I draw two little dots for his nostrils and a line for his mouth. <laughs> he looks like he's smiling. <laughs> <laughs> On top of his head, I draw two little triangles for his ears and two little dots for his eyes. And now, I draw his neck, his back, and now I come down with a long curvy line. I draw his legs. Two 
two back legs, a line for his stomach, and two front legs. And a line back up for his neck. And I am going to draw his mane, Louie. I draw a line right along the horse's neck. He also needs a nice pretty horse tail. Like that. He needs some hooves so he can gallop fast. I draw a little square at the bottom of his legs. I'll do the same thing on his other legs. Louie, isn't our horse beautiful? Now all we have to do is... Colour him in! <laughs> What should we colour him in? Brown! I'll colour in his mane and his tail. And I'll do his coat. You're not going to draw him a coat? No, no, Yoko. A horse's coat is what you call the colour of his fur. Or his hair, if you prefer. Huh, I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> Howdy, partners. Hello, horse. We're playing Indians. Do you want to come and play with us? Well, of course. <laughs> What's he doing? Are we playing Indians <gasps> or not? I'm a wild horse. You'll have to catch me first, Chief. Hey, that's not fair. Come back here. Wait, Yoko. I've an idea. To draw a horse's head, you draw a slightly wavy line which goes down and then comes back up. For his muzzle, you draw two little dots for his nostrils and a line for his mouth. Draw two little triangles on top of his head for his two ears there, and two little dots for his eyes. Now you draw his mane, his back, and you come down with a curved line. You draw his two back legs, a line for his stomach, and two front legs, and you come back up to draw his neck. And don't forget to draw the horse's mane and tail! And the hooves, so that he can gallop very fast. Now you just have to colour him in. Giddy up! <laughs> I love playing Indians. <laughs> I've got you. See you next time, friends. See you soon, Louie. <laughs> See you soon, Yoko. Queen of Diving! 
to dive in as well. But how can you do that? Hmm. Oh, yes, I know. Wait there, Yoko. I'm coming back. Come on. One last go. A lovely slide to slide down and whoosh, plunge straight into the water. Wow, a slide! What a good idea, Louie! <laughs> <laughs> to draw a slide, I start by drawing the sides. I go down, drawing a curve, like that. I follow the line back up and join the first line at the top. Then I draw the slide. I draw the edge of the other side exactly like the first one. <laughs> Voila! But Louie, to climb to the top of the slide, you need a ladder. Exactly! Now a ladder, I know how to draw that. Watch carefully. Two straight lines for the side of the ladder. And the same on the other side. Ta-da! And some little balls like this, so you can climb. There you go! It's finished! Shall we have a diving competition? Wait, Yoko! First of all, we have to... Colour it in! They're clever, our friends! I'll colour the sides in red! And the slide in blue! And the ladder in green! And now I'll be able to... Dive in! Yippee! back up and join the first line at the top. To draw the slide, you need one curvy line and you finish at the bottom. Then you draw the other side exactly the same as the first one. Now what we need is a ladder. Two straight lines and some little bars so you can climb up it. Now you just have to colour it in. Sophie. <laughs> <laughs> 
Thank you.